a huge land release in Perth. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee and let's have a look at this article from Perth Now, shared to me with a viewer or by a viewer on the Discord. So this is good news. More land released addressing the supply side issue for housing. But there's going, to ta- there's going to be a bit of time for this to actually impact housing prices. But still, 160,000 blocks, guys. So, massive land release to give homes to 385,000 in Perth. More than 160,000 new blocks of land will be created across Perth in what is seen as a significant long-term solution to the city's chronic housing shortage. And we need this every year. To really, if you're serious about housing affordability, huge amounts of land need to be released. It really does. The massive land release, mostly in the outer suburbs, will support about 385,000 people, a population four times bigger than the western suburbs, the West Australian reports. But the opposition said the new lots will be too little and too late to have an impact on the current crisis. Yeah, they're probably right. You should have done that a decade ago. You should, you should be, they should be constantly rolling out land as much as they can, freeing it up, getting people living, giving it away. Maybe we need to have land rushes, hey? Eh? About 80,000 potential blocks were revealed this week when the state government finalized decisions on the land use of 13 of the last 15 planning areas contained in its blueprint for the future of our city. The announcement comes after last year's decision to create up to 80,000 new lots, in the East Wanneroo District. Planning Minister Rita Safitoi confirmed it was not a quick fix and could take four or five years for the blocks to hit the market. The release will combine with infill and high-rise developments to help solve Perth's housing crisis. But the thing is, these things take so long. By the time the land is on the market, you may have another crisis. (laughs) You know, that's the thing. What, What if in... In five years' time, we're talking about a huge natural resource boom, they, uh, you know, global demand for iron ore skyrockets again, and it just goes crazy. Everything, every mining company in WA is expanding like nuts, so Perth housing just gets hammered again. And they'll be needing to release more and more land. So they, they should be thinking 10, 15, 20 years a time ahead. Urbis, urban planning expert... David Cresp said the land release would not add to urban sprawl because it was within the existing Perth and Peel boundary. Oh, we worried about urban sprawl. I don't think that's an issue in Australia anymore. Look at how big Brisbane is. He said the upcoming estates were likely to have a different character to existing estates with new lots about 395 square metres. Oh, well down on the 600 blocks in older underdeveloped land, greenfield sites. That's really, that's like small lots. Under 400. You know, the problem with this, guys, is you're not going to get a backyard. You're not going to get a backyard at all on that. It's hard enough to get a decent-sized backyard on 600 metres, you know, but not 395. And these are outer suburbs. They're not inner city. This week's decision revealed in the state government's Perth to Peel at 3.5 million framework allows the urbanisation of 5,800 hectares designated as planning investigation areas. There are areas in North, Balajura, Hepburn Avenue West, Maida Vale, east of uh, Kiwinana. Oh, come on. Pinjara, Ravenswood. Hey, at least there's nothing in Coburn in WA. Um, I pronounced that one a lot wrong lots of time when we were doing a proposal for that. Anyway, uh, which the report said could potentially support 76,000 homes. But the final balance of residential homes with amenities like shops, schools, and public open spaces in these areas will be planned by landowners, the community and local government, and decided by the WA Planning Commission. It was also decided this week to create 6,650 lots in Longford, um, Jandaba, uh, and a whole lot of other areas. This adds to the East Windaroo District Structural Plan released last year, which creates up to 80,000 new lots in East uh, Jangara, uh, Bybeck Drive precinct of Wanneroo and Jandabup. A decision t- is due within weeks on whether to allow residential development in parts of Jandoka. What are with these names? And Jangara water mounds. 
What happened to good, sensible names like Coldstream, Lilydale, Hillsville? You know, simple names. Miss uh, Safordi said work was also progressing to create the first stage of a Class A reserve at Cape Prone in Rockingham with land set aside for regional road use and future Garden Island Highway. The Urban Development Institute of Australia, which has long complained about the shortage of, of land for development, said the amount of new blocks was great for housing supply. Chief Executive Tanya Steinbeck called for the establishment of new teams to oversee the process and get land supplied to the market in a reasonable time frame. Opposition housing spokesman Steve Martin said the four-year timeline was optimistic, considering Perth did not have the workforce to make the projects a reality. This is a long-term solution for the outskirts of the metropolitan area, he said. True, it's not going to be fast. It's going to be long-term, but it is a good idea. I mean, let's let's bring up Google Earth and try and look at some of these areas, guys. Wish me luck. Okay. Where are we looking at here? Well, let's go to Perth. We'll turn on borders and labels. Where are we looking at here? Um, okay. We've got East 6,000. Uh, okay. Jenna. Where are we looking at? So here. So, yeah, pretty far out. I mean, you got a lot of, yeah, okay, you got a lot of land right here for Perth. Lots of opportunity to develop. But you're going to be pretty far out from the city, guys. What's, it depends on, on traffic. Um, north. North Bella. Okay, so north of here. So this is the type of stuff they're looking at, I'm assuming, here. So yeah, oh, I mean, fantastic, great. This is what you want to see, more land near the city developed. Okay, it's going to happen, it needs to happen, you need more houses. Let's hope it's not like the same thing here in Queensland where they're trying to develop land and the Greens are getting in the way. People intentionally vote for the Greens to limit development to keep the value of their properties higher and rents higher. That's that's how it works. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one. This is good news. Good on Perth. Should be doing it quicker. Should have happened years ago, but that's the way it is. As always, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe to the channel, and check out my other channels, Heiser Bim and Heiser Says International. And I'll see you next time. Or if you want to support us, you can financially on YouTube or Patreon. Using our referral links, Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband, buying our pocket squares, or calling us if you need an architect. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. The only thing is 400 meter blocks so far away. That's the shitty thing about it. You kind of want, you know, in the outer suburbs, you want a decent block.